Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're all doing well today and welcome back to the channel. So we're going to be watching the Slime Diaries episode 3 and I have to say, man, I am very, very pleasantly surprised by the character moments and the characterization that we've been getting in this series. I thought this was just going to be fluff, you know, uh, slice of life, nothing really of substance uh, in regards to the main series, but we're getting little character moments and characterization, which I was not expecting to get, and I'm really happy about that. Uh, like I said, I thought it was going to be fluff, nothing of importance, but for example, last episode, we got a little bit of Geld characterization. We got to see his kinder, gentler side, uh, some more Benny Morrow characterization as well. And if we continue to get this throughout the Slime Diaries, I am going to be a very happy Tensora fan. So we're going to go ahead and check out episode three. We're going to see what character moments we get in it. If we get any more characterization for some other characters, I hope we maybe touch on Gaburu a little bit. Even though I wasn't a big fan of Gaburu in the beginning, he has grown on me and I would like to see maybe some more characterization for him, maybe for Soe, just all the other characters, Shuna as well. Uh, should be very interesting to see if we get any of that. So without further ado, let's go ahead, count this down. Let's jump into episode three of Tensura Nikki, The Slime Diaries. Three, two, one, play. What are we going to get here? Okay, and I am... The season's changed. Oh, it's summertime in the Tempest Nation. Okay, look at the big dandelion uh, sunflower. And Shuna is the one uh, tending to it. Hmm. How summery. <laughs> oh, wow. They are pretty big, dude. Pseudo sunflowers. <laughs> oh, look, look at that little uh, Rimuru uh, wind chime. That's cool, seeing that. Are they alive? I was wondering because they looked like eyes. Are they are they thirsty? They want some water? Oh boy. They can't just be normal sunflowers, right? They gotta be alive. <laughs> uh, and the other thing I like about it too is it's sort of expanding on the world too because we never saw those sunflowers before so we know these pseudo sunflowers sort of have like a sentience to it right they're actually watching Rimuru and stuff unless that was just you know just for the gag right but like I said man it's definitely expanding on the main title and that's that's what I want to see you know Farmer Benny Moro. Gopta. That was hilarious last episode when Gopta got a hoe as his, like, reward or whatever. <laughs> but my man went to town, and it looks like we're going to be getting a beach episode at some point as well. So that makes sense, though. So. We're going to get fireworks, like a festival? That'd be pretty cool, too. <laughs> They're all wearing slime masks. Remover masks. So apparently one of you guys told me too that, uh, remember episode one, they, they made fun of him and said uh, they eat slimes or whatever. And then they said they were joking. A few of you guys told me in the light novel, uh, they go on to say that some people actually do eat slimes as like a treat. So that would maybe really does explain why we haven't seen other slimes, right? <laughs> it would be cool if we get to see another slime at some point. Imagine like another otherworlder gets reincarnated as a slime or something. I don't know. Would be a pretty cool dynamic, right? Summer in Jura. Okay. Is that Gopta? It's, of course, it's Gopta. My dude's sweating bullets. I'm trying to get this uh, to 50. Sorry, guys. There we go. Sure is hot. Okay. Oh, what's he praying? Oh, really? Oh, it might have. 
Oh, yeah? Is it because of Eldora? Is it because they cleared out the forest? This is the work of the gods. Yeah, right? Nah, it's just inside your body, bro. Oh, there's a Veldora statue that he was uh, praying to. <laughs> they did become buddies. <laughs> I ate him. It is technically his fault, yeah. If Veldora is really the reason. Oh, he's playing... Yo, he's playing... Uh... A game with E for it, dude. Oh, he's down there playing games with E for it. Okay. I've totally forgot about E for it. Is it because of deforestation or is it because of Eldora? Maybe it's both. Well, she is sweating. She's uncomfortable. You can tell. Hmm. <laughs> that is invisible, meaning like today. So she took her underwear off. <laughs> I don't think taking your underwear and brawl off are going to make you uh, cooler, Sion. She says it's breezy. <laughs> mm. Sounds like Gopta again. Yeah. Oh, he's on guard duty. I liked catching bugs. <laughs> yeah, right? He's just talking about like his time as a human. A beetle? They're probably huge, aren't they? Or the bug's gonna catch you. Dude, watch it be humongous. We're going bug catching, bro. Yeah, they know something that Rimuru doesn't know. <laughs> they probably just prefer not catching these things, dude. I knew it was going to be humongous. You're in a fantasy world. <laughs> Poor Gopta, dude. <laughs> Poor Gopta. They got guns now? Makeshift bamboo? Oh, no. Poppers? Water guns. Bruh. Yo, our dude just has to do a uh, Megiddo. <laughs> Fucking Gopta, bro. Don't like <laughs> yo cop is such a troll, dude. <laughs> yo, I 
Rimuru hit him with like a water spell or something. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, well, probably was like overwhelmed, you know? And was a little mad that they played dirty. Oh, right. We're getting a little bit of Ranga. <laughs> There's the, uh, the living sunflowers. Oh, he wants to play with Rimuru, dude. Oh, really? You'd pet him? <laughs> of course, Xion wants that. Xion, he's a, he's a canine. Relax. <laughs> he goes, even I haven't done that. He laughed at her. <laughs> oh, my boy. He's all jealous. Okay, we don't really ever get to see this in the main series like them like arguing over Rimuru <laughs> the sunflowers What rubbing and licking <laughs> I want to at least rub on him Jesus Pair them up sometimes. That'd be pretty interesting. Hmm. It's cool. Like, they, they really focus on Benny Mario a lot, too. Like, he's pretty much been in every episode. But, I mean, that's how it is in the main series, too. The key can play a pretty vital role, so. Hmm. Oh, really? You're gonna get like dehydrated, dude. Yeah, it's not a good idea, Gapta. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. I feel like they're baiting Benny Mario. He's definitely baiting him. Self-professed. <laughs> Deplorable secretary. Dude, what the hell is going on? Well, he does. Yeah, he does mess with flames. So maybe he'll be able to deal with the heat. Rimuru probably can, like, regulate his own temperature. He's a slime. That's Gaburu. <laughs> oh, he's not. He's a sponsor, so he's actually not uh, taking part in it. Okay. <laughs> Fucking Gopt is like, I'm so happy. Oh, damn. I thought it was going to be like a sauna, but it's just Kurobe doing some uh, blacksmithing. Even in this heat, dude. <laughs> I'm thick skinned. Oh, he's actually getting a weapon, though? Not just a hoe? Because he's doing what he loves, man. What did he make, dude? And he didn't realize he made it? I guess he just zoned out in the heat. Oh, look, he wants to rub up on him.
Oh, he's just like, yeah, okay, it's cool. It's really uh, Ranga's job. <laughs> oh, they're gonna start arguing. They need to. They're gonna. Yeah, they gotta calm down, dude. We've seen this in the main series, though. Those two go at it a little bit. Damn, she's gripping on him tight. They just keep stealing this slime from each other. <laughs> yeah, this is this is very familiar. Him being pulled by both ends. <laughs> exactly. Poor Rimuru, dude. Always getting caught in the middle. Oh, he just made himself bigger. Yeah, I got stabbed to death, right? <laughs> yeah, and the leader of a nation, dude. Oh, damn, cooling water pillow. Uh, the demands, dude. The demands. He's just being used as a beanbag chair, essentially. Hmm. Oh, you are spoiling them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Geld. Oh. His his plants that he planted that he wanted to check up on from last episode. Hmm. Tomato. He's gonna give it to the little goblin girl. Hmm. They did say they were farming for the future, you know, the future generation and stuff, so. Hmm. Of course it was. Hmm. Again, that characterization is so subtle, dude, but shows that kind of generous side of uh, a Tempest Blue, dude. Really? Somebody else told me that she's able to bartend here because she's able to, like, still watch over the forest while being in here. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're a very important person. You can't get drunk. You got to watch over the nation, man. Oh, she has a sunflower around her neck. So was that her watching him through the sunflowers? I wouldn't be surprised considering she's like a forest spirit or whatever. Mm-hmm. Well, they have a good leader. Snack bar Dora's Jobs. So it's actually the name of the place. Oh, there's uh, the dwarves. Yeah, whose bar was it? Like, where do they come from? 
Goblina. Everyone's adapting well. So is that the goblin girl we see? It was hers and Trainee took it from her? I don't know if she actually stole the bar from her, but it definitely wasn't hers, as they just said. And she's like, everybody's adapting so well. The fireflies, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, the lightning bugs. Hmm. Dion went with them. Dion Gopta and the kid in the goblin three of the goblin kids. What's this? That's a cool uh cool clock. So the ending is different every time, right? It seems like the ending's different every time. Hmm. Okay, so the ending just has um stuff from the actual episode in it, which is kind of cool. Hmm. Kurobe's workshop. Hmm. Fucking Gopta, dude. Can always like Gopta, dude. Gopta is a really, uh, really enjoyable and fun character. So that's what this is, right? Or is this? It seems like it's a long uh, ending credit scene, though. Hmm. <clears throat> Geld. I tell you what, though. <clears throat> Geld is becoming one of my uh, more preferred characters in this series. Uh, just from this alone, getting that characterization from him. Such a big dude, such a strong dude, but he has that, you know, kind, gentler side. And that that that's a cliche, that's a trope, you know what I mean? But it's still, it's still a cool trope. Uh, what the hell is all this? Goodbye, Rimuru? A documentary? What's going on with, what's this? Slimes! These are obviously regular slimes, right? Are we going to see them get eaten, bro? They say they eat them in the summer to keep, keep cool. Isn't that what they said? Oh, shit. There's a ton of them. And they're at, near the village. The parents of multiple multitude of slimes. Okay. And they talked about that's what they eat, right? They eat them to cool off or whatever. His brethren, bro. His people. His species. Oh, it can't do it as well as Dreameru does. He's like, I out slimed you, bro. Now leave. So where do they go after this? They want to eat him, right? <laughs> go back to your family. This son. <laughs> oh. Next episode is the beach episode. 
Uh, he goes, but the sunflowers seem a little bit off. I really like that ending there, the the uh, Goodbye Rimuru documentary thing. That's obviously Goodbye Rimuru because they thought he was going to go back to his family. Uh, really, really was hoping that we would see that because they mentioned that, I think, in episode one that the slimes come out during the summer and then they eat them to keep cool or whatever. But we didn't get to see them eat the slimes or anything like that. But uh, it was really still what that was cool to see, right? I wish there would be more to it, but I guess they're just, like, mindless monsters, you know? But imagine if, like, Grimuru tamed them or was able to get the slimes to, like, join their nation or whatever. I don't know. My mind is just going, like, a thousand miles a minute after seeing that because that's his people, man. That's, they're, they're, that's his species, you know? Slimes. Uh, it was kind of cool that he was able to keep, like, different forms uh, and form different things than what the, the monster slimes could. I guess it's because... You know, he formed, like, that statue, which was probably a statue from the real world, his world, and they have no concept of that, so maybe that's why he couldn't for they couldn't form it. Um, that's just my speculation. Again, really love the characterization, the little character moments. This was another laid-back, very peaceful, very enjoyable episode. We got to see more of Geld's kind, gentler side when he gave the tomato to the little goblin girl. Uh, the whole thing with Trainee apparently taking the bar was hilarious and her being like, well, we're all adapting so well, you know, <laughs> uh, that was that was funny. But it looks like next episode, we're going to be getting the beach episode. So I'm assuming some fan service is going to be at play. Uh, but what are your guys thoughts on episode three? Let me know in the comments below. Remember to smash that like button if you enjoyed the video. It's completely free and I greatly appreciate it. And as always, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you very soon for another video.